Hello and welcome. My name is Jaap Gasser and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Gubik. Today we will take a quick look at how to get started with backup validation for VMware VMs using the Gubik SDK for PowerShell. We'll be working with a number of PowerShell modules, namely the Gubik PowerShell module, uh, we'll have VMware PowerCUI and Invoke Build. Invoke Build is uh, a build engine for PowerShell. So before we get started, let's verify if we actually have these components installed. Excellent. So the idea of uh, automated backup validation is that we create a scenario in which we can automatically test a scenario. Uh, for example, a database server, when we store a server from backup, uh, we want to know that the databases are actually available and we can actually access the data inside of those databases. Another example is a file server. When we store a file server, we obviously want the file shares and the files to be accessible. So what we would like to do is create a test uh, plan that can be done in an automated fashion to determine that our backups are indeed valid. So in order to do this, we have a number of files we'll be working with. So as we can see here, we have the build.ps1. It's a PowerShell script. This script contains the logic of uh, our test plan. We have test.ps1. This contains all the tests that uh, can be executed against our machines. And moving forward, we have the configuration. Configuration uh, contains uh, which machines we'll be working with. Uh, we have some credential files. Note that these are the Windows credential files. These are not available if we're running our test plan on Linux or Mac OS. And we also have the environment in which we describe the, uh, which credentials should be used to connect to which servers. So these are the Rubik cluster and the vCenter cluster. <laughs> 